Hey, how's it going? So, uh, we're gonna be streaming some Pokemon Violet today because is this game really that bad or was it just rushed? Now, I've only beaten this game once and it was when it came out. So, uh, before I started the stream, I did wipe out all my save data, but, uh, yeah, I'm basically, I started this stream, I was thought, hey, I'm going to stream Pokemon Violet because I'm not very good at the newer Pokemon games, let's just say that, but like, um, yeah, we're going to try to see what we can do and, uh, yeah, try to see if we can go from here, but, um, yeah, it's the profile I'll play off of, but, um, Anyway, so our language is obviously English, but, um, basically, um, I'm gonna try to see, um, I think I'll play as the blonde, uh, NPC, but, um, we're gonna enter our name and, uh, might as well, we might as well make our name self-explanatory, but, um, so, uh, I guess we can change the hair, what hairstyles are they, what hairstyles are available? I forget about this game. I have not played this game since it was new, so, um, okay, we're not, I don't want that, I don't want that, uh, nah, no, that one looks alright, well, I'll, I'll go with that. Did I go with this style? Yes, I, I'll go with that. And uh, change look. I guess he's a fine as is, but um, yeah. So let's get this game started. I always forget about the newer games that you can custom design characters. I think in Gen Eight you could also custom design characters, but I'm not entirely sure. And uh, there's actually going to be one thing I do not like about this game. It's kind of, it's very buggy, let's just say. I'm already noticing some frame, some frame drops, but, um, and that's mainly because this game was rushed to market, but, like, um, there's gonna be a couple problems I have with this game, but, like, um, let's just say I'm on record as saying, like, if they had given this game maybe a year or so to polish this, it would have turned out better, let's just say, because, like, uh, I'm already noticed some, uh, sprite move, the sprite move, it isn't really the best, but, um, Basically, um, it's time for you to dive in the world of Pokemon. Director Cal Caldwell, head of UVA Academy, because I forget, this this game does take place in an academy. I guess part of this game takes place in an academy, but, um... And, of course, the mysterious creature knows us as Pokemon. They reside in great here in great numbers, in fact. Oh, it's Pawnee. I like him. I remember I used him on my team the first time I played through this. Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help each other to live and thrive. Yuva Academy is here to help you learn more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Also, as Pokemon trainer, they have to do they have their Pokemon do battle grown alongside them. While a robust circle of chaos work helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you'll find your friends, your Pokemon, your true self. Anyway, so welcome to Pokemon Violet. Is this game really that bad? We're gonna find out on stream. Because, like, they have updated this since, like, um, they, uh, they have updated this since launch to, like, fix out some of the bugs. I'm already noticing some, like, I've already noticed a few frame drops while playing through the intro, but, like, who knows? I. 
Because this game was like a buggy fucking mess on launch, let's just say. Anyway, so now we get to finally play the game, so, um... Let's see, um... I'm not, I'm not gonna try to see if I can deliberately, fi deliberately find game breaks. Like, the game breaks I will find are, uh... Basically, uh... They will basically be accidental, not on purpose, but, um... Wait a minute. You're back in how hang your It's not time to get ready yet. Anyway, so, um... I think, uh, yeah, you have to talk to your mom. I think you have to talk to your mom. It's common in Pokemon games, like, uh, not get, not, to kind of, like, kind of get you used to the, uh, game's controls and all that. Good morning, Bear. Oh, already in uniform and everything. Well, it's your first day at new school after all. I'm so excited for you. I'm so you might want to go in before you go racing out the door. The school clock me decided you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words, not mine. And this is very important for your first day. It still hasn't arrived. And we got a doorbell. Anyway, so we start off walking really, really slow also. We don't get our run button right away like other Pokemon games. You are a master bear. Yes, on behalf of the academy, I also apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Union Academy, you call me Mr. Clavewell. The director, and you came in person to help my son on his first day. I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on his part. So here at last, for any enrollment documents that we have already been delivered to you. Goodness, you really need to have. Since you go this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? We're not going to really notice some bugs, like, until, like, uh, we probably start fighting some Pokemon, but, um, the thing I remember about the, is, like, the, the bugs are most commonly seen during wild encounters, like, that's kind of the thing I remember most about this game. And now we have to get our, uh, uniform. Oh, look, I wonder what this is. It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. And, uh, yeah, Nintendo likes to advertise their consoles in Pokemon games. Let's just say, like, even in Pokemon Red and Blue at the Super Nintendo. Anyway, so now we get to play the game, and, um, I've already, um, I noticed a f the only thing that bugs I've really noticed, I noticed a few frame drops during the intro, but, um, like I said, I'm not going to deliberately look for game bugs, because, again, this game is, pro is definitely, like, um, I really want to see, like, when it comes to bugs, like, the wild encounters, because I'm, the thing I remember most about this game is the wild encounters being, like, particularly buggy. Like I said, like, I said this already, but, like, I think if they had given this game, like, a year or two it, to polish out these bugs, it would have turned out better. Like, there's also another problem I have with this game, but, like, uh, it's a little bit different.
right there in Pokemon. Time to come out of your Pokeballs. Anyway, so um, now we get to do. Now we get to choose a starter. So um. I cannot, um, Spurgadio, the grass Pokemon, or, um, um, Yukoko, the fire croc Pokemon. I know which one I'm going to go with because it's the one I went with in the first playthrough and I like using him. Um, I'm actually going to go with Quaxley. I always have a habit of choosing water type starters in Pokemon games and, uh, I did have a look. I, I remember in the first time I played through this game when it was new, I had some, uh, f fun using Quaxley. So, uh, I think we're going to go with him. We received the Rotom phone, which, um, basically, uh, it's, um, I think that, like, basically tells you, like, that basically, like, gives you calls and all that. It's kind of like Gen 2, but, um, oh, yeah, I forgot. You have to follow these, uh, you have to follow these Pokemon down to the house, um, and again, we don't have a run button, so I forgot how slow paced this, uh, game is. Yeah, I'm already starting to notice some, like, um, some spawning issues like um like this is like it's like yeah how it was like common during like the n64 era to like not see like certain sprites so they're right in front of your face uh that's the one game with this game yay we get a run we get a run mechanic finally so um yeah like i said the main thing i remember most about this game is this uh the bugs tend to happen during the wild encounters, or like the uh, kind of frame issues. I've already noticed a few frame rate issues and uh, spawning issues, but other than that, everything's been minor. Anyway, so, um, not quite. Master Bear's yet to make his choice, you see. Well, I already know what my choice is gonna be. I already said, I already freaking said what it's gonna be, but, um. Also, I think, I, I think in the newer games, like, they go with the Pokemon you're strong against and not the rivals go against the Pokemon you're strong against and not the one that's strong against you, if you know what I mean. They've done this since, like, maybe Gen 6, I think. I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you quite so soon. Anyway, so, um... When do I get to pick my starter? Yes, it's our Academy New Student Master Bear. He is attending as of today. Is that kid who moved up in the road? I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm the Omai. Normally, I live in school dorm, but home is here. What do you say about new neighbor? Want to be friends? Yes. Love the enthusiasm. We're getting along just fine. Mr. Kim is the president of the Student Castle and a champion rank trainer in our own right. Absolutely have Pokemon battle, except for you right now, you and me. Easy now, you two will be in the same class. You have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better for us. We're neighbors and classmates. Nice, we'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master Bear. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? I have. That's not what the one I want. Like, uh, I don't want that one. I want Claxley. That's the one I want. I clicked on the one wrong one by mistake, but um. We're gonna go with Quaxley. <laughs> Joe's Quaxley, which I like to get Quaxley a nickname. Um I'm gonna hold off on the nicknames. Some sometimes I like nicknaming my Pokemon, other times I don't, so um
actually seen some taking a liking to Master Bear. This is your first Pokemon. Yes, please save it, run and care. raise it, love and care. And of course, be sure to keep Tuck safely inside a Pokeball. There, I can't believe you actually chose Quaxley. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. She probably says that no matter what you choose, right? Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Dr. Clive? Well, oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you did the Academy? I see uh, not back then. No, I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Bear when he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Bear here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes. Okay. I guess I guess set the message speed to fast after like this dialogue's over, cause like I usually do that in Pokemon games, and on top of that, like um, probably set to normal, so the dialogue is moving a little slower. So um, let's just um. Uh, and uh, okay, text speed fast. Um, skip move learning off in the boxes manual. Give nicknames on vertical camera controls, regular horizontal, regular camera support. Yeah, auto save. I'll just um, yeah, I'll, I'll do all that. I just want the mess speed to fast. So battle Neoma, so we're right here. Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have a Pokemon by the side. And it's our duty to train as battle Pokemon or Pokemon go strong through the battles. So you ready to battle me? Yes. I'm so excited for this battle, I think I'll use Miss Neoma. I trust you remember that Master Bear is a wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Oh, whoops. Good call, Doctor. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat, but I guess we'll be taking the chance to try out my new buddy instead. Yeah, like I said, like they these uh, characters, uh, they tip the they pick, they pick the Pokemon you're strong against in these newer games. That's the one that not vice versa, like the older games. I don't think they've done vice versa since like Gen Five, I think. Maybe even Gen Four. I don't know. I've 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 never really played much of Gen Five. Must have been studying it because I'm very strong, water strong against fire. So we're just gonna spam water gun. I also like um I kinda like more in the newer games how like they come with wire moves and like not like the older games. Like um or at least it's more a problem in the first three gens where like they don't learn like their type moves right away. And we leveled up. Now the main thing I remember about this game is that it's kind of grind heavy, like you gotta there's very little amount of trainers in this game, if I remember correctly. So the main grinding comes from this. That's another thing I kind of don't like about uh, this game is that it's very grind heavy. Like this is not it's not like this is an NES RPG. Like this is a switch game from two years ago. If I remember correctly, I think catching Pokemon also gives more XP than um, than killing the Pokemon in wild battles. I could be making this up, but that's only based on what I remember of this game. I didn't really do a deep dive bit prior to streaming it, but um, Yoma.
Receive the sandwich from um I remember this is what you give the legendary um that you kind of ride on. It's an interesting mechanic. It's an interesting mechanic just riding on a legendary. Way. I forgot how long this introduction is because like it's not we're probably not even it's probably not gonna be like an hour or two of gameplay we're even making to the first gym so like um F all right this here is Poco Path leads to adventure for you and me out here things are different than in town you gotta see wild pokemon out and about they'll be on the path and in the grass and such close to one you'll have to battle but you got classic classic for that right if you want to try to catch a pokemon you got to use a good old pokeball i've got tons have a few and we got but we got five pokeballs Anyway, so we encountered a um encountered a Lee Chunk. Yeah, I'm I'm starting to notice uh the gra the grass like it isn't moving very smoothly and um I just wanna see when like there's Pokemon in the background, like Right, we caught a Pokemon. We got a leech. We caught a leech chunk. I remember correctly. This thing evolves into a ground type. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Ah, that was awesome. You got the very first Pokemon you went for. It's, I'm crying when it comes to actually catch Pokemon. Well, you should give me tips. You know, have some more Pokeballs just in case you have to get your catch work out. And we got 10 more Pokeballs. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the ball, which uh, is it's common in po it's common to get this advice in Pokemon games, but uh go to the lighthouse. I'm trying to see if I can catch more Pokemon first, because I've been waiting for the opportunity and I've been streaming for like 25 minutes. Lighthouse, um, what are the Pokemon there? Hold on, there's another one. Alright, I want to see when Pokemon get in the background. Alright, let's try to catch this, uh, Tarantula. I think that's what it's pronounced. Caught it. Huh. I'm not gonna. I don't want to give my Pokemon nicknames like because I I'm not always good at thinking some thinking of nicknames like um. Catch a Hopip. None of these Pokemon are probably going to be team members for this uh, playthrough, but uh, I don't know why I did that. I guess since I'm catching a grass type. Well, I still caught it. Anyway, so Quax is level 7 and we'll learn work up. I'm just checking a few settings really quickly, but uh Am 
my settings are solid, but uh, I'm just uh, just double checking some settings really quickly. But uh, I was just double checking some settings. Sometimes I do that when I'm streaming. I always try to make sure to check my settings before I start streaming. But like, um, you always want to double check. Sometimes you can leave your intro music on. Any more Pokemon in this route? I don't see any more Pokemon, but um. Yeah, that kind of, uh, the game kind of like lagged just there. So, uh, hey, another Pokemon. Anyways, this is a uh, Scatterbug. I'm familiar with Scatterbug. I'm not familiar with the other one. I am not familiar with a lot of the Gen 9 Pokemon. I think we've caught a lot of the Pokemon this route, so um, we got a couple level ups. Is that all we've caught in this route? We can catch in this route? Hold on, I see something. I want it, I want it, I want this particular Pokemon. It's gonna be part of my team, so. A Pawnee. On me. I actually really liked using this Pokemon the first time I played through this game. Level 5 also. Cut Palmy, and I'm, I think I'm gonna use this uh, on the team because I did. I, th I remember doing it the first time, but um, on Hop of Learn Terrible, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna use the Hop It permanently. If I remember correctly, Palmy evolves into an electric ground type or an electric fighting type. It's either an electric fighting type or an electric ground type, but either way, it's an interesting type combo. Like I said, I didn't do too much of a deep dive into this for plot for. I want to see if I can get my Quaxley up a few, uh, up to like level eight, maybe. Yeah, n splash those jacks yet, even. My Quaxley's level eight, so. Let's see if there are any other, I don't think there are any other Pokemon in this route. Let me see, so far you've caught... Go! Anyway, so, um... Here is Cry. I've never heard that kind of cry before. So it could be some kind of strong Pokemon or something. I'll see if I want to make that cry. Here, look around. There's, yeah, there's, there's a kind of unsafe cave not far from you, so steer clear. I know your own folk can help you keep you safe and watch yourself in the cliff anyway. Heal from her before, but uh, you know, we have to find the source of the mysterious cry. Look, there's legendary and a bunch of hound hours. I like hound hours as a Pokemon. Like, I don't find a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon consistently good or like good period, but I find I find Houndoom a great Pokemon and I find um Heracross a great Pokemon. Also Espeon and Umbreon.
Also, if you're playing Scarlet, I think that's a different legendary, but, um... Doesn't seem like do the trick. Oh, we have to get in the sandwich, I forgot. I'm paying attention also. I remember correctly, we have to follow that legendary throughout the cave. I forget that legendary's name off the top of my head, but, um... I pro- maybe I should have done a deep dive into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet before doing this, but I don't know. So yeah, I think we have to fall this legendary out the uh, cave, but um, not running. Something sometimes things can just block your running, like when things like uh, it's kind of weird. Sorry for making viewers dizzy, but uh. There you are, Bear. Okay, you're not hurt, right? I'm fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you've gotten hurt because I said we should go look for me, I made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we gotta focus on getting you back up here. You just gotta find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon Pokemon's moves. And over here is a potion. Oh, that was amazing. Anyway, so, um, and there's a Pokemon, which means I want to catch it. It's only level two, though. I almost killed it, so. And the Pokemon caught. Young Go Young Goose was caught. So um, we're just gonna send to our boxes. But um, if I find some Pokemon that are like um, I want to actually um use on my team, I'll add those to my party. But um, hold on, there's another Young Goose. So um. I think if I remember correctly, you can find Diglett in this cave. Not that I want to use a Diglett, but uh... Oh, and there's a Diglett, there's a Diglett, there's a Diglett. I don't want a water gun a Diglett, because Diglett's got horrible special defense, I'll kill it, so... Yeah, we'll use, um... We'll catch a Diglett, and we'll use it in our party. It won't be a team member, but we'll use it in our party. It'll be good. It'll be good for the early game. Lee Chuck learned his summoning voice. Anyway, so um, Diglett and I don't want a nickname. I want to add our party, and uh, I guess we don't need two bug types, so.
Wait, it's it's kind of slow following uh, the legendary across the uh, cave. It's not gonna be like an hour or two until we get to the first gym, so you can do the gyms out of sequence. That's one thing I know about this game. Like there is obviously a set of gyms that the game designs and tend you to a specific order, but like, cause there's no like, it's not like, it's not like some open world, other open world games where like the difficulty depends on progress no like where you are the difficulty depends on where you are so like say you go to like a you can go to like a gym that's far that's like out there but like it has like level 50 pokemon you have like level 10 pokemon so yeah that's one thing i kind of don't like about this game Alright, doom. And this hound doom is level 40. It used crunch. I don't remember crunch doing that. Crunch isn't roar. There you go, for a second I thought you were both goners at the lighthouse, so... What was wrong? Pokemon anyway, kind of looks like a, a Cyclizer, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Hard to say. Can't tell either, huh, Bear? Lots of side. I'm so glad you have back on one more piece. You know, the battle down here was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync, facing out the Hound Doom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you had this Pokemon training yet, huh? Do I get to ride on this damn thing? You think this fellow would be the one making that mysterious cry her before? Oh man, oh man, oh man, the more I lose power, the more serious scenes. If you do become a trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Seems never so we get in touch with somebody gets separated again, and uh. We got Swift, which. Swift is not a move I like. It doesn't. It never misses, but it's not very, like, powerful of an attack. So, um. And we're headed to the lighthouse, so we can't run on that thing just yet. Anyway, so, um, I don't know who my dad is, so, um, 
Really, she's what the world in the world is this Pokemon doing out here? And what is this, what what is with this performance in? Mary Dawn, is that this Pokemon thing? How do you know it? You can't go into the lab, it's locked. I don't remember even seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Mary Dawn is the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer holding a man is special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? I think you have to order a Mary Raiden around. I don't know how to pronounce that. It'll take a while. So we have to battle him. Memories leave a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. What will Pokemon battle do to help that? One more water gun. Can I get a level up, please? I, my Palmy hasn't even leveled up once yet. And Avrin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. So next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna win some answers out of him. Now there's one. I think we're approaching the uh, door. We're approaching the school. So um, I'm just have light. Also, I think one of the areas after this is approaching the school. So um, I'm gonna go on intermission after we see those uh. Horribly those horribly designed sprites in the classroom. I want to see if they're still there in this version, but um Because they have updated it since launch. But I remember the classroom in particular being like really fucking buggy Anyway, so head to Los Platos. So, um, where's that on the map? Is that the Academy? No, it's not the Academy. Uh, yeah, it is the Academy. So, let's see. So, is there any new Pokemon this route? So, um... Now, one thing that's kind of like about this game is that there are trainers, but you don't, they don't catch you right away. You just have to like talk to them to get them to battle. Like, um, first of all, okay, there's a Psyduck. I'm eventually going to need to find something that's going to take out grass types. So, um.
Yeah, we'll catch it. Um, I'm just catching it for the XP. I don't think we're gonna use Psyduck in our party. I want two water types right now. Anyway, so Diglett's level five, and Diglett learn Growl, Hop and learn Absorb, Pong learn Quick Attack. Door boxes, so um. Catch another Psyduck, so uh, there's also an Asmoril, but um. So. This one's level four, though. We'll just... Also, thank you for stuff and cheeks. Thank you for the follow. I, I really appreciate it. I'm close to getting a Twitch affiliate, so um, any follow means a lot to me right now. So I uh, thank you very much. And Scarmel with Sunswar. Is there any other Pokemon? I saw an Asmoral, but um, well, there's a Magic Carp. So um, we're just gonna catch all the Pokemon we see on the route. So um, We're gonna catch this. Um, Azrael has some pretty bad stats, though, so um, we'll catch it anyway. We're not gonna use it because I don't. I'm not really interested in using two water types. See if we can get a normal fairy. I thought it was a water fairy. I guess it evolves into a water fairy. I sometimes forget that some of these Pokemon, especially it's like Gen 7, like the types of changes. Oh, there's the Magic Carp. I thought you went away, but um, we're gonna, you know what? Let's just put the Magic Carp in our party for shits and giggles. Okay, I almost thought that was gonna kill it, but um. Gonna catch this Magikarp. We're just putting the Magikarp in our party for shits and giggles. And nothing else but that. Uh, oh, we're, we're teaching it wing attack. Um, we don't need growl. Anyway, so I don't want to nickname that at our party. What are we gonna swap? Um, we don't need the hop up. Get the carp in there, baby. Now, um, hey. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember the typing. It's, it's, there's some of these Pokemon I do not remember the typing. All right, so we're just gonna catch this thing. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see the typing when we catch this thing. So, I think it might be Dragon. Dragon's resistant to water. So, Diglett's level six. Oh, it's water. We don't need another water type. Well, I don't know why we would find a dragon type this early in the game. I'll, we wouldn't. We normally wouldn't in a Pokemon game. So I guess we can start heading towards the academy. I don't really see any other Pokemon on this route that we haven't already caught. 
I'm gonna heal at the Pokemon Center and then do that trainer battle. Actually, Eggly buff. We'll catch that. This thing's level seven also. I guess we can put the Eggly buff in our party and uh, raise it by happiness. Doesn't matter if you sing because we're gonna catch you eventually. All right, so Pawn is level seven. Yeah, let's put this in our party. Not gonna be very good, but we'll add to our party involved by happiness. I'm just gonna go to the Pokemon Center and go back and uh, catch more Pokemon. We got uh, Pokemon materials at the user circle. You connect with another trainer, find yourself some adventuring companions and Pokemon Center. We're gonna rest our Pokemon. But I want to go back and fight that tra some of that trainers for more XP. Because I remember the first time I played through this, I deliberately skipped a lot of the trainers, which was kind of a mistake. You want as much XP as possible in this game particular game. Again, there aren't really that many trainers in this game, so... Um as the uh, the student, I, I thought it was a bug catcher, but uh, I was wrong. We'll use water gun for the same type of attack bonus. Oh, critical hit! And we'll finish it off with a pound. I better get some good XP out of this. level seven does he evolve at level seven i see pokemon full hp okay they don't he probably doesn't evolve at level seven they have like caterpie or stuff like that now remember there was another trainer back there so we're gonna go about we're gonna go battle that This is a, this is a uh, youngster. Attack, uh, well, it's a bug type, so. And that one shot it. Drops level six, God. Ma raising Magikarp is always a fucking pain in the ass, regardless of game you're playing. Over here, there's a uh, prison berry. New Pokemon. I so. One's also level six, so I guess we can uh, put it in our party. Actually, we're not gonna put, I don't wanna put it in our party. I almost killed it though. 
We're almost out of Pokeballs, so um, we have to go to the Pokemon Center by more. Bit off was caught. Boxes level 11. Fairy type, so. Maybe we'll put it back in our party later, but uh. I wanna get the rest of my Pokemon aside from like Quaxley and Palmy to level 10, and then like, uh, and then I'll probably put it in the uh. PC, maybe evolve it for the first time. I don't really know. Anyway, so let's buy more Pokeballs. So, um, we can buy about, we'll buy about 20 of them. Do I have to go on the map? I think we have to go to, uh, yeah, we have to go there. Now, one thing I do like about this game is that we can just set it as our destination. So, um, yeah, that, that, that was kind of laggy. That kind of, so, yeah, it's, it's mainly background sprites in this game that get really laggy at times. Again, I would like to take out, I would like to find a Pokemon that can take out grass types. El Province Area 1 and uh I guess we can catch a Sun Kern. Well, five though. If I remember correctly, like uh I wanna catch a flying type also because if I remember correctly, the first gym in the game is also uh what am I trying to say? Uh uh is a uh, uh, bug type gym the first gym, or at least the first gym the game is intended to do? Yeah, I'm not. We're not gonna put the Sun Kern. Sun Kern's not a very good Pokemon. Any other Pokemon in this row? I want to find a flying type. Eh, I don't want that flying type. We'll catch it. We'll catch it and keep it in our party for now, but it will not be a permanent team member. Two, three. Yes, we got Fletchling. Fletchling's an all right, a pretty good Pokemon. It's just I find their I just find their flying types are better than this. We'll put it we'll put it in our we'll put it in our party. I need something to take a bug type, so we don't need Scatterbug anymore. Another Pokemon on this route. Um, we already caught some of these Pokemon. Actually, this one we haven't caught this one yet. So Squovid, um I wanna risk one more wing attack. We'll just use pound, it's weaker attack. I don't wanna risk one more wing attack. You leave off level eight and learn sweet kiss. Um, what's this move for that? I'm saying. I think I need that. Charge, we're teaching him that. 
Actually, no, just boost to use a special offense stat, so I don't think we need that. We just, oh, we'll just get rid of growl. Just, what do you need growl for, except to, like, intentionally... Well, I just, I just, I just don't personally use growl much. Yeah, I already noticed that, I already noticed that text is a little laggy right there, but, um... Yeah, it looks like they haven't really fixed a lot of the lag issues that were there on launch. Maybe this was worse. I don't remember if this was like... I just wanna to get to the school and like see the, like that and like... I think I'll go on intermission after that. Another hop, but we already caught that. That we'll we'll find them. Anyway, Rookie D actually evolves into a fantastic. Fantastic Pokemon, in my opinion, uh, Corviknight. Well, I was, uh, I used the Corviknight on my team in the last two generations I played through. Anyway, so we made it to the school area, so I think now's an appropriate time where I'm just gonna take an intermission break of maybe, like, ten minutes, and then, like, um... I think after that, we'll, um, I'll have to go to the Pokemon Center first. I think after that, um, I'll pick up where I left off, and, uh, maybe then we'll see if the game's lag is improved, because it's mainly the classroom scene, but, um, I unfortunately do not think we'll be able to, we'll have time to complete one of the gyms, but, um, I'll just take a brief intermission, and I'll see you guys in a second.
Hello, so welcome back to some more Pokemon Violet. Um, we made the school and I think we'll end the stream with the school segment. So, um, yeah, I think we're at the, I think we're going to approach one of the more infamous parts of this game, the classroom segment. We'll do the classroom segment and we'll end today's stream because I've already noticed that this game has not really improved in terms of like bugginess. Like I've noticed several, I've noticed some frame drops. I've noticed um, laggy sprites. Like uh, the problem is this game was rushed and like because it was rushed to compete with the holiday season. But like, cause like the thing is, I don't, I think this game has good ideas. So like if they had waited it out like a year or two, this game would have turned out better. Cause like Sword and Shield was also rushed. Like you think they might have learned by that, which I uh, know. Though I always thought that Sword, the reason Sword and Shield was Sword and Shield was rushed was because Game Freak saw the acclaim like Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey were getting had gotten at the time, so they wanted their own version of that. But um, yeah, it didn't turn out as well. So Diglett's level eight, Magikarp's level um, no Palmy. So well, I have a Diglett as a ground type. So I don't know. I think, yeah, I don't know any ground type moves. So uh, let's just scratch this thing to death because we're not gonna be affected by thunder shock. Oh wait, I, I forgot about this mechanic. I forgot about this. It's like crystal mechanics. I forgot about this. Alright, um, yeah, Terra Stalize. And I, I forgot about this mechanic completely. And they use that in Gen 8 also, a similar. Doesn't affect Diglett. Well, so we'll just scratch this thing to death. Yeah, it doesn't affect Diglett. Use Thundershock and doesn't affect Diglett. <laughs> it's just gonna keep using Thundershock. And yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have a ground type move. We just took that out. Box is level 12, actually, four levels away from evolving. We, just, we, we got three revives, so that's nice. I'm just waiting for that classroom segment. We'll do the classroom segment. That's the, one of the more infamous parts of this game, and we'll end the stream. We will pick this up. Um, I'm going to be stream. I'll stream over the weekend. Uh, we'll, I'll pick this up again over the weekend, but there will be no streams next week. Just to look. Just an FYI. Be a little off in streaming, so... um. Again, I really appreciate everyone that's come out to this stream because uh, we had like six viewers at one point. That's a personal high for the Switch channel. So um, I, it's especially grateful because like uh, I'm I am like pretty close to getting in the affiliate program. I just need to like stream. I just need to hit 50 followers and then I'm in the affiliate program. It's so, like every follower, like the one I got 20 minutes ago, uh, that's like very beneficial. He has like six more followers. I'm getting the affiliate program.
Once you've seen you would come up again in front of the school, just be ready. I just want to see the classroom segment. We got five and four ahead of the school gates. Yeah, I can see some laggy sprites uh, with the walking and all that. So, um, saw a little bit of lag with the movement right there as well. Like, um, wait, that, that, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute, let me go. Yeah, that's just flickering, and now it disappeared. And some of those prices completely disappeared. And this is Team Star, so... We have to battle these guys, I forget. No, we don't. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, yeah, we do. Anyway, so we're battling Team Star Grunt. Pretty o this Quaxley is pretty over leveled, though. And level ups, uh, we got a couple level ups. Anyway, so do we have to battle another team star? I just want to see the damn classroom. Got the terror orb, which uh, allows her to crystallize. Yeah, we're, we're battling another team star. Anyway, so, um, I guess we can kind of terrestrialize to kind of show that. One shot it. That's not one shotting it. Okay, so uh, Palm is level nine, so.
finally we get to see the classroom. Go to school. Finally we get to see the classroom. That this will be the grand finale of the stream. Yay, more laggy sprites right there. Actually, that one's not too bad. Look at the background. Okay, the side deck isn't too bad, but um these sprites are just frozen, but um. That one's la that I can see that kid was laggy right there, but uh I just want to see the classroom. We're gonna see the classroom. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna probably think that the classroom has not improved because the classroom is one of the infamous parts of this game. Class 1A, hold on, hold on, here it comes. Oh yeah, this, uh, this is like, this is like the worst frame rate I've ever seen for a cutscene, for or at least for a first party Nintendo game. Like look at that, like their, their feet are like, they're moving like robots all of a sudden. Again, this scene has been like picked to death, but like, who tested this? Like, did they test this before they put it out to stores? Like, like who who played this part of the game and thought, "Wow, well, this is great. We'll put it out in the stores." Like, uh, this is it's one of the biggest signs this game got rushed. Good night, everybody.